My name is John Odom. I'm a sports medicine physician here in uh, Minneapolis and um, we kind of do the whole spectrum for our sports medicine. So uh, we see things, you know, as far as acute injury and then we really have a focus on performance and wellness as well. And so just have a staff to really support all those services. So whether you're talking rehab or you know, nutrition, wellness, those sorts of things, really a full service staff to, to kind of meet all those athletic uh, kind of demands and needs. Eaton. I'm a registered and licensed dietitian at Odom Health and Wellness and I have the privilege of seeing a lot of um, elite athletes here at the clinic and um, I get to provide nutrition advice um, for people that are trying to prevent injuries, that are recovering from injuries, and people that are trying to improve their performance and um, uh, their athletic performance through um, nutrition and other uh, natural um, strategies. So I uh, really enjoy working with this um, wonderful population and great people. Hi, my name is Sarah Haskins. I'm an elite triathlete. I've been racing professionally for 10 years. I had the privilege of meeting Dr. Odom back on the USA Triathlon circuit. I believe it was in 2007. It was quite some some time back and um, we became friends and um, I am um, the past couple years I've had some some changes. I had a baby girl last year and got back into professional racing this year and I was racing in Minneapolis in July and was having some issues. I was having some pain in my lower back and not exactly sure what it was and we remembered that Dr. Odom was right here in Minneapolis and we decided to um, give him a call and entrusted his judgment and his knowledge in helping me. So um, tell us um, a little bit of what happened in July. What were some of the symptoms that you noticed and when did you decide to seek some medical help from Dr. Odom? Yeah. Well, I competed in seven races in 2014, so it was already um, a fairly strong season, and all the races went really well, and it was actually not till the end of June. I was starting to feel something was wrong. I was doing a treadmill workout, a high-intensity treadmill workout, and I felt a sharp pain in the lower portion of my back. It was kind of like, felt like where my glute and my lower back met is where I was feeling like a sharp pain and something I had never experienced before in all of my athletic career. So I knew that this was something different. And I took a week off and um, the next week I was like, well, I'll see how it goes because sometimes if it's a sore muscle or something, it'll kind of loosen up as you get going. Mm -hmm. And I remember I did a short run and it was a little sore and the next day I did a four mile run, which is short and compared to what my normal length of training is. And it was sore during the run and tight, um, but after the run is where I knew something was really not right because I was in a lot of pain and I had a race coming up in three weeks and really just kind of rested hoping it would heal up before the big race. The race came along, I traveled to Minnesota and I knew it still wasn't right. Um, and we um, you know, had remembered that our, our friend we had met with, along the USA Triathlon circuit, um, the doctor who, who had traveled with us, Dr. Odom, he lived here in Minneapolis. and. We thought um, we should give him a call and we're very glad we did because he was able to really help us and um, provide us with answers on what I should do moving forward. Um, will you tell us about the importance of bone health in females and then particularly in um, elite athletes like yourself? Yes, yeah, so I've been very fortunate all my years of racing. I ran in college. I had never suffered uh, a stress fracture. So that type of injury wasn't even on my radar. Um, but come to find out the injury that I faced was a sacral insufficiency fracture. And I was a little bit surprised. However, I knew that that was a possibility based on my symptoms. And um, I have learned with talking to uh, Maggie, nutritionist at uh, Dr. Odom's Health and Wellness Center and talking to Dr. Odom, um, really what goes through the body during breastfeeding and a lot of the minerals are kind of pulled out of the bones and I'm not getting the hormones that women need. Um, it's The woman's body is essentially um, beautifully complicated, <laughs> I'll put it in that sense. And it's, it's really about hormone, keeping your hormone balance and um, keeping the right minerals in your body. I mean, I was thought that with hydrating while I was training hard and getting in additional calories that that was enough to keep my body healthy and that, that I was incorrect on that so um, it's really really important for um, not just you know elite athletes but all women and keeping their bones healthy whether you know during breastfeeding and beyond and making sure 
um, that you're getting um, taking a supplement like now I'm taking um, a very high quality bone it's called the pro bono supplement and that's helping um, my bones kind of getting what they need and you can also um, make sure that you're getting the right um, minerals in your foods so I've been talking with Maggie and you know making sure I'm eating foods with a lot of additional calcium like dairy products leafy green vegetables and um, phytoestrogens mm -hmm. is kind of on the breaking edge of some foods that can potentially help you to um, get what, what your body needs. What advice would you needs. give to aspiring female athletes um, and triathletes um, as far as um, nutrition? Um, what you've done in the past, you haven't had any problems up until now. What, what advice would you give them? Yeah, I would give um, female athletes and any aspiring triathletes for nutrition um, to really make sure that you're fueling your body correctly for the demands. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like energy in, energy out. You don't want to go into a workout with a loss of energy. You're not going to be able to perform as well as you could during that workout. And after the workout, it's so important to make sure that you're refueling your body with the proper combination of proteins and carbohydrates and that's just going to help your muscles rebuild from that strenuous effort and it's also going to help your body recover and get ready to perform at your best on the next workout. So I've really learned a lot about nutrition in uh, my years as a professional. When I was in college and high school I really didn't understand nutrition and how important it is not just for your everyday life but how important it can add to your performance. Um, I mean you know, we need food to survive. I mean, it's something that's so basic, but yet can be so detailed oriented and um, can really help. Um, but I try to in my everyday to keep whole and natural foods. Like I like to have a lot of fruits and vegetables in my diets, a lot of whole grains and a lot of, um, you know, quality protein, like from chicken or fish or beef and, um, and you know, um, like I said, a little piece of dark chocolate here and there is, is okay. What so, advice would you give uh, um, for female athletes um, as far as training? Um, what pieces of advice can you give them? Yeah. Um, for as far as training goes for female athletes, um, if you're just starting out in triathlon, I always recommend um, finding a local tri club because at least for the swimming and the biking, it's great to have people around you to ask bounce questions off of and have some guidance um, and I especially with the running portion if you've never started a running program before it's so important to kind of gradually build into it I wouldn't recommend just um, starting off with like a five or ten mile run right off the bat um, because that's you know you got to give time for your tendons and your ligaments and your body to adjust to the demands so um, and make sure that you know you're getting on a bike that's fit well for you um, starting out with the a new pair of tennis shoe or running shoes that work for your body um, you know I wouldn't pull out the tennis shoes that have been sitting in the garage for 10 years I mean we don't want to start with um, injuries on the structural standpoint um, but most importantly have fun um, I think you know getting out and exercising is something that is enjoyable and it's not just for you you know pull your whole family out um, bring your kids out bring your husband and get the whole family involved as an elite athlete you know we're focused on so many things just getting the best of ourselves in workouts trying to be mentally positive before every workout and and now you know thinking about my daughter i mean that's all i want to focus on is my training and my daughter and my husband and so having a team um, with Odom Health and Wellness to be able to monitor what I'm missing, you know, what I don't know what my vitamin D level is, I don't know my calcium, so for someone to be able to monitor those levels and see what I'm missing and say, you know, maybe need to take a supplement to kind of help with this, you know, vitamin or um, maybe we need to adjust your training a little bit here. And um, sometimes when you have a, a team from the outside looking in, um, they can really spot those weaknesses and let you know so that you can get to the top of your game um, at the end of the season down the line. Sarah, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you sharing all this valuable information for, with us and with all the women out there that are aspiring athletes too. And we wish you the best in your career and your new career as a mom mm -hmm. to Caroline. And um, we hope that your continued recovery um, puts you um, up where you want to be.